Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and today we are going to be talking about Louis Vuitton LV. <laughs> I do have a bag to unbox here and we will be talking very briefly about the price increases. Everyone knows they're, you know, it's a thing, it happened, shocker. I do wanna tie it more into this larger idea of investing in luxury bags. So that's the agenda for today's meeting. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, please, if you like luxury but do not like price increases, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I am gonna go ahead and start opening this baby while we talk. Um, I did get this two days before the price increase. So I was spared that trauma. Um, I got it in the Las Vegas LV boutique. She was nice enough to give me a second bag in case I was flying. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down here and take this baby out. Oh my goodness, you can see, I guess the ribbon was a little loose here. We can see that the, this is shifting, um, but it is still pretty. We do know that they had a massive price increase. If you've been living under a rock or if you're just not that interested in luxury, why are you watching this video? Although I appreciate you're here, stay. Um, I, I'm just gonna slip this off, this is stupid. Why am I trying to unknot un this? LV came in real strong with the price increases this time around, increasing prices anywhere from 10 to 15%. And it, it's just, it's, you know, it's nothing new. We know that price increases happen, happen with these luxury houses, but it was intense. And I think the thing that was most shocking to me at least not, was not the fact that there was a price increase. It was the fact that the mini pochette went up to $745. Girl, over $700 for a mini bag. If you have purchased the mini pochette for this price, let me know in the comments down below. No judgment here because we genuinely want to know why. Are you buying it because, you know, you come from family money or are you buying it because um, you figure, you know, two months from now it's probably going to be a thousand dollars and you're trying to get, you know, more bang for your buck. And, and that also kind of ties into this idea of investing in luxury bags. I think that there's some misconceptions out there. I am not a financial advisor to you, so do not depend on the information that I'm giving you here. But we're going to be talking about this in, in a general idea. As we all know, um, people say, oh, I'm investing in this bag. But that comes in two different camps. There's the first camp and the first use of investing in the idea that you're getting some kind of non-monetary gain. I invested my time and had lunch with my friend. I, I invested my time and fixed my car. You're investing in something with the hopes of getting a non-monetary return. So some people use, I invested in luxury bags in that sense because you know they get joy out of it. They think that it's gonna last you know much longer than items that are arguably less well made. Then there's the camp of investing in the sense of getting a monetary gain. And that's when um, you're thinking more about things like stocks and mutual funds, you know, your 401k, your, you know, I purchased an ETF that included LVMH stock, things like that, where you're, you're trying to put your money in and trying to get more money out. And some people do use this when referring to luxury bags because they buy something and they can sell it for a profit. But not a lot of people mention the idea of inflation. You know, 20 years ago, I could buy a movie ticket for like $8. Today, a movie ticket costs like 25 bucks, so let's say, give or take, you know, three times the price. Let's say I had a movie ticket from 20 years ago and I sold it to somebody. Uh, this is where the metaphor kind of gets a little, you know, bear with me. I sell a movie ticket that I had 20 years ago and I get $25 from it. That doesn't mean that I can go and suddenly buy three movie tickets. 
with that money. I still can only buy one movie ticket and that's because, you know, inflation, your dollar doesn't go as far as time goes on. Time, that's the factor, that's that's the idea. I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions. Um, some people say, oh, you can't invest in luxury bags. You can, but you have to think about it in the sense of time and how money changes over time with inflation, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, let's let's get to why we're actually here, okay? Why we're actually here is this bag. Oh, oh my gosh. So it does come with two straps. This is the multi pochette accessoire, is how I pronounce it. It's not the multi pochette accessories. I know that we're not French and we just anglicize pronunciations, um, but it's not. And it also comes with this little chain here. The chain does have some braiding through it, so it has a little bit of a Chanel vibe, but it's much edgier, in my opinion, than the Chanel straps. And you do have these two little flappies right here. When I went to Vegas, I wanted to get this bag in cream. I asked the lady at the front, she looked it up. She's like, they do not have the multi pochette in Empreant leather in cream anywhere in the country. Okay, girl, I get it. I'm not gonna get it in cream today. But I really wasn't sure about the black. Um, a part of me was like, is black too boring? You know, and, um, Truly though, when I saw this bag in person, I was just like, this is it. It is beautiful. You do have this textured leather and you just have this beautiful LV on the front. Something that I just love about the bag is the versatility. Everyone who owns this bag is probably gonna say something similar, but what really concerned me, you know, this bag is not cheap. Even before the price increase, it wasn't cheap. So let's talk about that. It was $25.70 before tax. I got this in Vegas, which is a little bit cheaper than my local tax. Um, so I ended up saving about $29 in Vegas. It was $27.85 when I purchased it. Um, and my local tax, it would have been $28.14. Now it is $28.40 before tax. And my local tax, it would be $31.10. So I saved $325 um, by getting this before the price increase. Even before the price increase, that's a lot to spend on what is essentially two makeup bags clipped together. And I was concerned, I was like, is the multi-bag thing too trendy? Am I gonna regret this purchase down the line? I am not the kind of girl that invests in the bag with the hopes of getting a monetary return. I invest in my bags because they are going to last me years. I'm gonna get a non-monetary return of, you know, years of love and enjoyment. We love each other. And I was concerned, you know, is this too trendy? But then I was like, you know what? I can always unclip this sucker. We don't call them a sucker. They're too expensive to be called suckers, aren't they? You can unclip them and use them separately. You can use them as a pouch. You can go ahead and clip them here with the little chain. And I can have a very cute little evening bag. I can put on a longer gold chain strap and have it be a little crossbody situation going on. And if you want a larger version, I can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and put you know, the thicker chain or the thicker strap rather on the bag. And right now it's set up to be at shoulder shoulder height, a little bit more casual with the, the black leather. Yeah, but this baby adjusts. Oh, yes, we love an adjustable strap. I also was looking at the Alma BB cute cute that bb girl she is cute but her strap is not adjustable so here you go and you have this longer strap style it's nice and adjustable so it's super versatile and the fact that you can take the chain off you can go ahead and use the strap on other bags you can use you know just a pure gold chain on this it's just versatile it's something that was important to me when buying this bag. I also considered it in the monogram. The monogram does come with kind of a mini pouch. It looks a little bit more casual and there's nothing wrong with that. But because I wanted to get as much mileage out of this bag 
as I could. I wanted to make sure that I got a bag that could go casual, that could go dressy, that could go a little bit farther in my opinion. I mean, this is a great kind of travel bag because you can go ahead and, you know, have it with this casual strap during the day. You'd bring it out multi-multi. And then at night, if you want to go out to a nice dinner, you just take, you just take one of them and, you know, unclip the, the big bag. All right, so I have gone ahead and filled this more or less to capacity. Um, there's not a ton of distortion that I can see. Maybe a little bit up here. It's definitely full. Um, before I proceed, I do want to talk about the dimensions. Here's my ruler. So this front guy is about, let's go measure from the bottom, about eight inches, give or take about four and a half inches and about one inch deep. The big guy is, what do we want to say? One and a half, one and three quarters there and approximately nine and three quarters and five and a quarter. If you're curious about the drop, this chain is 12 and a quarter inch drop when it's connected to the bag. The leather strap is about 10 and a quarter to 18 inches um, at the two, you know, largest and smallest. So there is a lot of versatility even though this is a small bag. In the front here, I've gone ahead and I put in my card case and my phone. You could probably fit in if you wanted to put more in the front, you know, a little lotion, a little perfume, and a lipstick, certainly um, a pen. I know a lot of people don't like putting these things loose in, but I'm just letting you know what you could fit. I could not fit my sunglasses and my phone, and as you can see, I took the case off of my phone. If I put my case back on, and granted, I do have a pretty thick case, I have an otter case with this pop socket card holder on the back. If I went ahead and I put that in, that pretty much would take up the whole spot except for maybe a lip balm. It would be really hard pressed um, for me to get this card case in there along with the phone. If I took my phone out, um, does the card case fit upright? Just barely, just barely. Although it does get a little caught as you can see there. So you may not want to store it like that. You may want to store it like this. Can sunglasses fit in the front? If you don't have your phone, here are my Saint Laurent sunglasses. Yeah, they fit fine. They fit just fine if that's all you're carrying in that front pocket. Um, they go, they go, about to here. So you could get, you know, a pen, perfume, ruler, whatever craziness you want to do uh, with, you know, loose liquid items. In this back here, it is a little bit more versatile. You do have all this in here. I have a lipstick, a lotion, some mints. This video is not sponsored by Altoids. <laughs> Um, a little pouch here. I, I do love this pouch. This is one of my favorites and you can monogram it, which is great. I have a compact and a compact wallet. Obviously you could forego this and have, you know, your card case in the back here. And as you can see, let me look if, go ahead and flip that around. How versatile. Uh, this has no problems fitting upright if you went ahead and did it that way. And there is um, this back pocket here if you wanna put your mask back there. But that is, you know what? If you wanted to go ahead and see, let's see if we could get the sunglasses in here. sunglasses in this fabric pouch. 
We can. So if you want to forego the compact wallet, you can put pretty much all your essentials in that back pocket and just have your phone in the front. I have heard some people say that they kind of forget what's in what um, side. So if you just use the front pocket just for your phone and nothing else, then that could eliminate the confusion. And as you can see here, if you forego a compact wallet like this Louis Vuitton one and just go for a card case, there's a lot that you can fit in the back. So, I mean, honestly, they, these are pretty much all the general essentials that I would consider carrying on an everyday basis. So I think that, you know, if you travel mildly lightly, there's no way you're getting a water bottle or an umbrella in this guy, but it does hold, you know, bare essentials. If you made it this far in the video, please leave the word chains in the comments down below so I know that you made it to the end. As always, thank you so much. I really do appreciate everyone's viewership. I really appreciate everyone's, you know, encouragement and positivity. And I am really excited for what this year is going to be bringing. Please make sure you're subscribed. I do have some some interesting videos down the line. We got some more bags. We got some more bags to share. So thanks, and until next time, bye.